Hey all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today we're going to do a brisket. I'm going to actually do a full packer, and we're going to do it more of a traditional uh, way. The last one I did, I did it more of a medium doneness, but we're going to do this one more of a, a well done. We're going to do, a, we're going to cook this sous vide for 48 hours at 150, which will get us that well done, and um, it'll make it nice and tender. And then we're going to throw it on the smoker for a couple hours to get some nice smoke and bark to it. So today's Wednesday and I need this by Saturday around lunchtime. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this in this afternoon. I'm going to trim this all up and um, trim most of the big chunks of fat off of it. And then we're going to sous vide it until Friday afternoon. And then I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to throw it in the refrigerator and let it cool down. And then Saturday morning... When it's nice and cool, we're gonna throw it back on the smoke. Gonna throw it on the smoker, so I can get some good uh, smoke and get, develop that bark that we're looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead today and also I haven't done this in a while, but I'm gonna actually inject this brisket because I haven't done it in a long time. Um, I've cooked them plenty of times without injecting them. Cook them standard. And I'm just gonna do beef, beef broth and Worcestershire sauce, and that's just to get some more flavor deep down into the meat. And I'm going to be uh, rubbing it down today with some more of that running wild gourmet beef rub. And I used that on the other brisket I did a couple weeks ago, and it was actually pretty good. Uh, the only thing I, I wanted to add more to this one is I did add a little bit more coarse ground pepper to it. This is, um, this is good. It's, it's very salty. It's got some good garlic and onion to it, but it's lacking a little bit of pepper for a real good brisket uh, all right i got the brisket all trimmed like up and what i did i just took most of the fat off there's still a good uh nice cover on the top uh, and, and i just got all the thick stuff off got the big deckle piece out on both sides here um i trimmed off the browner edges here where they cut it and it gets a little brown but as you can see um there's still some fat on there just i don't want a whole ton because we don't need it um for for this cook since we're going to be sous vide it and what I did with the injection I just took about a cup maybe a cup and a half of beef broth and about two or three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce and just mixed it up real good and that's what we're going to season this up with today and I'm just going to inject it in a few spots um, I said I don't normally inject but I'm going to do it this time just to see how it turns out I haven't injected it in a long time so but I'm just going to kind of pick some spots just kind of move it around and both the point and the flat especially in the point in the flat section because you know that that doesn't have as much fat and flavor as the point does so I'm going to make sure I get down deep into the flat section here we are we got it all injected now I'm going to go ahead and put my rub on and I got my vacuum bag already made up it's the expandable food saver bag so I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to bore you with a lot of this but I'm just going to show you how I it's going to dust it with this rub like I said it's the running wild gourmet beef rub but I added probably another two or three tablespoons of crushed or ground uh, coarse ground uh, pepper so we're going to just put a nice coat on each side and I'm not going to rub it in. We're just going to kind of push it around, make sure it gets. Clean. All right. All the uh, briskets all bagged up, triple sealed it on both sides. Okay. And it's uh, seasoned and it's injected and it's ready to go. And I just heard my timer go off on the sous vide uh, cooler. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there and we'll see you guys in 48 hours. <laughs> Forty-eight 
48 hours later, and here's the uh, brisket. It's in there for 48 hours at 150, and shrunk down pretty good. There's a lot of juice and fat in the bag. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it in the bag just like this, and I've dried the bag off already from the sous vide, so... But what I'm going to do, like I said, it's a Friday night now, so I'm going to go ahead and throw this in my refrigerator outside. That's my meat refrigerator. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there, and it will chill down, and we're going to throw it on the smoker in the yeah. morning. Fire is getting pretty good there. I'm going to go ahead and drop in one piece of oak wood and a couple pieces of pecan. I'm do an oak and pecan mix here. I'm going to put them, just kind of touching them, have some outside of where the fire is right now. Just so that uh, you can have it uh, staged where not all of it burns up at once. So, looks like we're going to get a little bit of rain. We're going to have a party today. And we got the uh, unicorn in the pool, you know, trying to welcome everybody. But looks like we might get a little bit of rain. Hopefully it clears up. Whatever it will does. We're all going to enjoy some uh, brisket, that's for sure. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit. Remember we put the um, Running Wild Gourmet beef rub on it, and I mixed in some more of the uh, coarse ground pepper. So I'm going to put just a little bit more of that on, and then we're going to throw this on. The t uh, temp of the grill is right up around 250, and we are just about ready to throw this in. It's got a nice smoke to it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish but, putting this on. All right, guys, I'm going to go yeah. ahead and get this finished up, and we're going right, to throw guys, it on the grill. on there, getting ready to close this up. It's been holding right at 250, so we're going to get this some smoke, and I'll see you guys back in about two hours. All right, I've been in about a little bit over an hour now, so I'm just going to open it up so you can see. It's kind of drying out. It's not anywhere near as moist as it was, and it's getting a good bark. I'm just hitting it with a little bit of apple juice so we can uh, get a little spritz to get some more of that smoke. But not too much. I just want to get it nice and moist so that it picks up some more smoke. So, sorry about the audio. I didn't hit my there mic guys, up. I'm going to show you in there. It's just a little over 125 internal. And that's in the deepest part of the brisket. So. It's been sitting right at 250. It's fluctuated a little bit up and down. Been kind of messing with it, but um, and it's just a little over two hours. And I'm going to go ahead and pull it off now because it's about 20 minutes. And our guests are going to start coming, so I'm just going to show you how it looks on the grill there. And I got some sausages on there cooking too. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this off, and I'm going to go ahead and well slice done. I got it off. Got it on the cutting board, and I'm going to go ahead and slice into this. Got a pretty decent bark on it, and it's been cooking for a long time, so I'm going to go ahead and cut a little piece of this flat part off. Show you. It's got a decent smoke ring, too. So, not huge, but I got a decent smoke ring there. I'm going to go ahead and give it a couple slices here. Colton! I didn't say to leave. I'm going to have my son's friend Colton you can do the test on this I need you to do a test taste test on this it's kind of hot just came off so pretty tender yeah very tender it's got like smoke in my mouth. can you taste the smoke oh yeah definitely oh yeah all right guys yeah. well you have it we're gonna go ahead and eat this up I got a bunch of people coming over I'm gonna slice this up and we'll see you on the next one. Make sure you subscribe. Oh, I've got my mouth full. <laughs> like this video, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram. See you on the next one. Thanks, guys. <laughs>